Today we're going to make a spaghetti bolognese. This is one of those really good recipes that you order when you're out at a fancy restaurant. And you know, it's really simple to make. It's only a few ingredients. We got Barb here to help us today. Let's get started. back to the Diabetic Diet Show. To get started on things, let's go through some of the ingredients. I have bought ground beef, which is 87%. I like to have a little bit of fat in it, but I also like to buy the packages that are sealed, so I know that it's fresh from the factory. For a side, we're going to have mashed cauliflower. That's going to be delicious. And we have some crushed diced Hunt's tomatoes. This is one of those real good cans, so we've been using that a lot lately. An entire box of pasta. We need for our salad, tomatoes, a sweet pepper of some sort, garlic, cucumber, onion. For the sauce, we're going to have two types of cheese, Parmesan and sharp cheddar, as well as a ground parmesan. So let's get started with the pasta. So Barb, if you would please give that pasta a stir just for a minute. We cooked up the pasta. Follow the directions on the box. By the way, you don't have to write down any directions because if you'll just go to our website, which is jamestdds.blogspot.com, or if you click on the subscribe button down there in the bottom, you see the more button, that's where the recipe is. So I had a lot of pasta, I cooked the whole box. So what I'm doing is I'm dumping this into a warming container. I have a lid for this. And we'll put this in the warming container to keep our pasta warm while we cook the rest of the things. Starting with our onion, let's cut off the bottom very carefully. And then let's cut it in half. I have two of these. This one here appears to be like 16th or 8th. And then I have the one inside here, which is about half to quarter. So my plan is to put these in here, like this, and then say, Barb, it's up to you. Now let's do our garlic. So for the garlic, here's my bulb. <laughs> it went all over the place. Oh, this was a dry bulb, that's pretty funny. That'll go in the bloopers. <laughs> I have these all ready to go, and rather than smashing them, I like just to cut the ends off them first, just like this. Then I have the mat to roll them. There we go, Barb. We're going to go fast now. Next, we'll start our ground beef. I'll get this open for you while you're heating up your pan. Right away, start breaking it up. Now we'll put in the tomatoes. And also, I have the cauliflower. So let's do the cauliflower really fast. So this is not frozen, but it was refrigerated. And I'm doing this to show you 
ways that you could do things fast after working all day, but yet it's some good, healthy cauliflower. I'm going to open this very carefully here. Put it in the tray. Just like you're decorating a cake here. Once you get this in the tray, you want to put a damp towel over the top and put it in the microwave. Depending on your microwave, read the directions on the package. Let's start out with our salad dressing. I'm going to make a Thousand Island today. The recipe will be down in the instructions. If you hit the subscribe button, you'll see the more button. But I will tell you this too, when it comes to making things like this, there is not an exact science that's necessary. If you don't have enough ketchup or you have too much mayonnaise, just offset it with the next thing that you need. So I put the mayonnaise in already. I'm putting in some ketchup. Sounds like those are ready, but let's, let's just let them sit. Pickle relish, about a spoonful. The Italian seasoning is my carabas that I reverse engineered. Just about a little bit of a palm full. You can always put it more in later on if you want. Paprika, this is not the smoked paprika. Regular. Then some garlic, and you can put onions in if you want. We're not gonna put onions in ours today because we have onions already in the mix. Cheese, and final things we'll put in in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna put my carrots in just like that. I'm going to do that so that that helps me to mix this up. like that, set it down here. There's my tomatoes. Sometimes I cut the tomatoes and sometimes I don't. Today, things are almost done here, so I'm not gonna cut these tomatoes up. One pepper. Out the insides, set this down, fillet it, nice and careful. Your hands behind, like this. It's all nice and clean. Lay it down, make some sticks. And you want to cut from the inside out, it's so much easier. See how much easier it is than to cut from the outside? And I did sharpen my knife before I started today. And I'm not using any lettuce. This is a vegetable salad. One of the toys that I have in my kitchen is a salad shooter. I should bring that out and show you guys one of these days. It's definitely one of my favorite toys. I'm just checking the cucumber, see how the health of it feels. This end feels better than the other end. So we'll go wherever I feel it's good. Today is the last day on this cucumber. Now I'm going to cut slices. I'm not going to just cut a plus on this because I want it a little bit thinner since this is vegetable only. Nice healthy salad. Oh, did you do your salt and pepper yet? No. Why don't you do your salt and pepper and then I'll take that from you and I'll, I'll do the salad. Harv and I are taking turns spilling the pepper. <laughs> it's my turn. You're it.
This is a garlic salt. And a fresh ground black pepper. Our next step is to put things in a mixing bowl. So I have our milk, cheese, more cheese. You can have those and some eggs and the uh, cauliflower mix. So here's the cauliflower mix. I have the eggs and I've had them out warming up a little bit because you never want to cook with uh, cold eggs. So I'll break them right here like this. please while I mix. Here it is right here, Barb. Now that it's all mixed, it's time to start layering things. So I have a little bit of this and I'll take like a spatula from you. That'd be great. I just kind of put a layer in here. this pasta I cooked up the noodles in advance and then I put them in a warming pot to keep them warm as you can see they're still steaming so I'll just put some of this in here I may use all of it or not it just depends on the size of your pan as to what you can use or the size of your dish very good then all this has to go on the top And when it comes out, I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top of this. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Do you like salad? If you like salad, give me a thumbs up. We're down to just the last few seconds. I was just kind of stirring the salad and everything is all done. You can have that Barb and I will pull this out of the oven. This is of course going to be extremely hot. It's going to be over 350 degrees. It smells so good. And my countertop should be fine with the heat. Now a lot of these things when they consist of cheese and eggs you want to wait a little bit for it to cool before you serve it up. There we go. I'll get some more tomatoes in here. I love the tomatoes. And you know with a mix like this too, if you want, you could always put uh, oregano on top. Something like that would be really good to top it. So that dish is really hot. I'm going to set it off to the side, try not to touch it. I have some shredded Parmesan cheese. It's good to buy it this way so you have it fresh and ready to go. Or you can shred up yours and then save it in the container. That you have, I like to do that because it's marked with what is in there. So I saved this from when you buy it that way. So this is the dinner for the night. So we thank you for coming and watching us. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more videos. And that's the show. Bye for now.